ya wae kabla nipige nduru Welcome to the quiz show Where if you know, you know And if you don't, we confirm it as per K This is where we have fun and learn at the same time Chua leo ni moto kama pasi Utaipenda, I can guarantee you Nikona, wonderful contestants Father and daughter, ndani ya nyumba Husband and wife, ndani ya nyumba in Gujarati we say Kemcho. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm right. I'm your host, Buddha Boss. Sir, what is your name and what do you do? My name is Murtaza Hakimi. Yes. I run a glass business and I do interior renovations. <laughs> glass business, you know, Hakimi somewhere on guy. Yes. That is it? Yes. Karibu sana. Madam, your name and what you do? Hi, I'm Amina Hakimi. Yes. I am a student. I am studying psychology. Psychology? Yes, sir. <laughs> How is it being with your dad on this? <laughs> Do you believe you can bring the A game? Oh, yes, for sure. For sure? Huh? What's the name of the team? Hakimis. Hakimis! I like it. <laughs> Hakimis! <laughs> sir, your name and what you do? My name is uh, Wilson. Yes, Wilson. Mchichu. Wilson Mchichu. Yes. All right, what do you do, Wilson? Um, in IT. IT? But I also do on the sideline Uber business. Uber business? Sure. I, oh, na penda yo. IT na Uber. Mm-hmm. Hey, biyajara mutatufanyi ile kitu. sana. Madam, your name and what you do? My name is Susan. Yes. I'm uh, an accountant in an IT firm. Okay. Yeah. All right. How many years have you been married, by the way? Okay, well, 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 well I, I'll believe your number. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Wow, I like it. Team in it, what? Team in it, what? Chichus. Chichus. Yes. We have the Chichus versus the Hakimis. What I'm going to do is I'll give you exactly three seconds to pick your side and maintain. Three. Two. One, let's get this one started. We begin with our quick fire trivia. We're gonna ask them 10 questions. They have 60 seconds to respond. Every correct answer, 100 points. In case we don't know the answer, we gladly and boldly say, pass. <laughs> Allow me to begin with uh, the chichus. Are you? <laughs> Wilson, <Umesh took. laughs> I would like to begin with you. If you are ready, so am I. Remember, hapa tuwezi tuka discuss. Kila mtu anapambana na hali yake. Your time officially begins. Now, who is the highest spiritual leader of the Roman Catholic Church? Time is ticking. Yes? Time is ticking, sir. Who is the highest spiritual leader of the Roman Catholic faith? Pope. Pope, correct. What is the hottest continent on earth? Susan? Um, Time is ticking. I don't, Dubai. Dubai! In! <laughs> Correct! Who hosts East Africa based on Switch TV? Uh, Red Cross. Red Cross! <laughs> <laughs> Give me the name of the presenter. It is a show. Oh. <laughs> it is a show. East Africa based on Switch TV. Who is the host? Pass. Pass! Alright! Which rapper's real name is Robert Remick Williams? Pass. Pass! Alright! Who is the manager of Barcelona Football Club as of 2021? Ronald Koeman. Correct! Which car is manufactured in Kenya? Mm. Have you stick in Susan? No, no, no. Isuzu. Isuzu! <laughs> in. <laughs> Correct! How many seasons of Game of Thrones were there? Wilson? Eight. Eight. Correct! Who performed at Zimbabwe's Independence Day celebrations in 1980? Pass. Pass! Alright! What was the most streamed show on Netflix in 2020? Time is ticking, Wilson. You can say pass. Time is ticking, sir. La Casa. La Casa. Papel. La Casa de la Pel. In papel. Papel. Yes, <laughs> Incorrect. <money> Incorrect. <laughs> How many countries still have the shilling as a currency? Susan? Is that a pass? Pass? Yes, it is. How many? Okay. Three. Three! In! <laughs> mm-hmm. Correct! Four! 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 Kenya, Uganda!
Uganda, Somalia, Tanzania, now. We know. Why? The most streamed show on Netflix 2020 was The Umbrella Academy. Now we know Bob Marley is the artist who performed in Zimbabwe's Independence Day celebrations in 1980. The car manufactured in Kenya, Mobius. Now we know. And then of course, ah, uh, the rapper Robert Remick Williams is also known as Mick Mills. <laughs> Presenter <laughs> Ali is Africa based on TV. And the hottest <laughs> continent on earth, it is not Dubai. Africa? Dubai is not a continent. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer is Africa. Is it two questions or three questions? Two questions. Correct. 200 points. The chichus. Usishtuke Wilson. Nini mulipeana majibu. 200 points. Not bad. Hakimis. Are you ready? Yes. All right to begin with you, sir. <clears throat> if you are ready, so am I. Your time begins. Now, who was the second vice president of Kenya? Kalanzo Musioka. Incorrect. How many elements are there in the periodic table? 118. Correct. How many black presidents has South Africa had? One. Incorrect. River Thames is in which country? UK. Correct. Ngugi Wabiongo was born in which current county in Kenya? Akimis? Is that a pass? Kiambu. Kiambu. Correct. K stands for what in the periodic table? Potassium. Correct. The first successful vaccine was introduced by Edward Jenner in 1796. Which disease does it guard against? Influenza. Incorrect. What do the five colors of the Olympic rings plus the white background represent? I mean, you can say pass if you don't know. Is that a pass? No, 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 you can say it. I, I say it one more time. Yes, please. All right. What do the five colors of the Olympic rings plus the white background represent? The continents. Continents. My God, your time is up and that is incorrect <laughs> my god the colors represent all the colors that are represented in all the flags of the nations that come together <laughs> now we know the first vaccine was against smallpox now we know and south africa has had four black presidents the first vice president of Kenya, not first, but the second vice president of Kenya, Joseph Murumbi. You guys have. Oh, this is. Whoa, 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 one, two, three, four questions correct. The Hakim is at 400 points. <laughs> ah, I know you guys are excited. It's a good start. You get to choose between history, sports, or entertainment. Which one? How many questions? Ten. <laughs> yes. You said history? Sports, entertainment. Not entertainment. Not entertainment. I mean, he's insisting. <laughs> Take a pick. History. Okay. History. I like it. I mean, ready when you are. This is your first question. Your time begins. Now, who was the richest person in Africa in the 14th century? Pass. Pass. How many sovereign states make up the continent of Africa? 53. Incorrect. When did World War I begin? Oh, um... Time is ticking, Amina. Hello? Time is ticking. 19... 19? 19, 19, 1914. 1914. Correct. Name the country in Africa which was created to settle freed slaves. Akimi. Sierra Leone. Incorrect. Name one court official who assisted the Kabaka in his administration. Pass. Pass. All right. The United States Congress consists of two houses. Name any. The Senate. The Senate. Correct. In which country is the Bay of Pigs? Is that a pass? Pass. All right. Who was Queen Elizabeth's second father? King George. King George. Correct. King George IV, I'll give you that one. What is Jomo Kenyatta's original name? Is that a pass, Amina? Pass. 
Who is the British monarch who abdicated his throne for love? Prince Charles. Prince uh, Charles! No. In. Can, can you? Can you? Can you? Can you do what? Can you can, do what? Can I? You want to change it? Yeah. Please do. I'm not sure it will count, but Prince try. Philip. Yes. It is not Prince Charles. <laughs> no, it's the son. I, I Edward the Eighth. <laughs> <laughs> So. Jomo Kenyatta's original name, Johnstone. Come on. Come on. <laughs> now we know <laughs> Bay of Pigs is in Cuba. Now we know. And one of the officials who assisted Kabaka in his administration, Katikiro. <laughs> the nation that was used to settle freed slaves, that is Liberia. And Africa is made of 54 sovereign states. I said 53. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the richest person in Africa in the 14th century, Mansa Musa. Three questions correct. 300 additional points. The Hakimis officially at 700 points. Imagine, Mukipata five questions. Mumuafikia. Bring it Mukipata sita mumepita. Bring it on. Entertainment, other sports. Let me go for sports. You go for sports. Yes. Haya umuongea kama head of the family. Sure. Susan. All the best. Your time begins. Now, which Korean martial art means the way of the foot and fist? Is it karate or taekwondo? Susan. Taekwondo. Correct. The 2026 World Cup will be hosted across three different countries in the American continent. Can you name them? USA? Yes. Mexico? Yes. Canada? Correct! Which Chinese city held the 2008 Olympics? Susan, you can say pass. Time is ticking, Susan. Okay, pass. Pass! All right! What part of the body of central players can't the ball touch? Oh, sorry, let me say that again. What part of the body of central players can't touch the ball in soccer? Hand. Correct! The Super Eagles is a nickname given to the national soccer team of which African nation? Susan? Super Eagles? Oh, is it come idea? Yes, Susan. Is that a pass? Pass. All right. <laughs> what does NBA stand for, Wilson? National yes. Basketball Association. Correct. What type of race is the Tour de France? Pass, pass. Pass. Time. Is up. Oh. Two de France. Oh, okay. Bicycle race. <laughs> Super Eagles. <sir. coughs> Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria. Super <laughs> Eagles. <laughs> 2008 Olympics were held in Beijing. Beijing. Now we know. Four questions correct. 400 points. Oh, I like this one. 600 points for the Chichus. 700 for the Hakimis. Keep tweeting. SMS line, triple one, triple four, triple one. Next challenge, two truths, one lie. <laughs> this is the question. We are on to our next challenge, which is two truths and one lie. The task at hand is to figure out which of the three statements I read out is false. We can discuss and give me a team answer. I'll begin with the leaders <laughs> at 700 points. Can you make it 800 before the break? These are your three statements. If you sneeze too hard, you could fracture a rib. True or false? Statement number two. Cleopatra was Egyptian. Statement number three. An ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. Amina Hakimi, which one is false? Which one is false? Is, do we have a time limit? Yes. Okay. Three ah. seconds. So almost up. <laughs> Talk to me. Um, okay, so the two, sta two statements are... True one is false. Which one is the false one? Let's go with Cleopatra. No, you're right, sir. The, the Cleopatra yeah. was an Egyptian. No. Huh? Okay. Okay, sir. She, she was an Egyptian. Yeah. Which uh, one is false? I feel like Cleopatra. Okay, right. she's saying Cleopatra is uh, false. We'll she's go with saying that, but yeah. what are you saying? <laughs> no, nah, I'll, I'll, nah, I'll go with my daughter. You're serious? Yes. She's saying that was false. If I were you, I'll go with the correct answer, but you want to go with your daughter? Is that right? 
So if you sneeze, according to your wisdom, Akinim, you can fracture a rib yes. if you sneeze yes. too hard. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Go. <laughs> Let me tell you for free. It is true. <laughs> it is true. An ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain, Amina. I mean, I'm imagining it right now. The eye and the brain. Yep. I feel like it's true. It's true? Yeah. Let me tell you for free. It is false to say that Cleopatra was Egyptian, which means yes. you're correct. <laughs> 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 800 <laughs> points! I like it! <laughs> Chichus, can you make it 700 before the break? These are your three statements. Christopher Columbus discovered America. True or false? Statement number two. A shark is the only known fish that can blink with both eyes. Statement number three. Australia is wider than the moon. Hi. Susan Wilson, which one is false? Two or three is false. Mm. Susan, what do you think? Talk to me. Wilson? No. Mm. No? The second or the third one? No. The second or the third one? Which one is false is the big question. Susan, mm. your time is almost up. Which one are you going with? Mm. Australia is wider than the moon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's 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 crazy, right? I tend to think so. I, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Looking at it, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a shark can blink with both eyes. Is that right? I tend to feel that's the false one. Like in mama me amua. Okay. Tunakufa na mama, sindio? Amekufa na mimi sana. Amekufa na wewe sana pia ukufa na yeye. Ni vizuri tukufe pamoja. And let me tell you mnakufa ni ukweli. A shark can blink with both eyes. It is true. It is true. Which means officially the false statement Australia is wider than the moon. It's not that one. The first statement is statement number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Australia is actually wider than the moon. <laughs> now we know Christopher Columbus did not discover America. No point for you. Okay. We are going, <laughs> Hi. We are going on a short commercial break to Kirudi. Guess the meaning of the word? 200 points separate these two great teams. Una kufa na naad. Alright, welcome back to the quiz show where if you know, you know, and if you don't, we confirm it. So I was just having a chat with Wilson while we are on a break, and Asema, he thinks he answered more questions. Uko Mwanzo, VAR, in Asema, yeah, you answered more questions yes. incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> We're only counting the correct ones, <laughs> but I know you can do something. 800 points to the Hakimis, 600 points to, the, to them Chichus or Chichus, Chichus. Next challenge is guess the meaning of the word. You guys can discuss and you can snatch points or vice versa. Okay. All I'm looking for is the correct synonym of the word. I will show you and will give you four options to pick from. Your word is modicum. Modicum. Options are A, drop. B, positive. C, only. D, normal. Hakim, which one is the correct synonym? Modica. Oh. Yes? How much the time limit? I, I, I actually think it's almost up. Yeah. <laughs> choose anything. Choose anything. I like it. D. D. Normal. Yeah. Yeah. It's wrong. It's wrong. I like it. 
This is a modicum show. Alright, do you have another <laughs> do you have another answer for me, Wilson? Okay. You'll go for C. C only. Okay. Correct answer is A. Drop. You're both incorrect. Uh -huh. No point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Susan and Wilson, can you tell me what I'm looking for? Your word is vociferous. Options are A. Merely. B. Noisy. C. Gray. D. Lose. Susan, team answer again. Vociferous. Your time is ticking fast. Correct synonym? Yes, Susan? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is that an option? B. B. D or B? B. B. You sure about it? No easy? Not sure. I'll stick to it. You stick to it? Yeah. What do you think, Amina? Same. The same. The same? <laughs> All right. I also think the same. Correct. <laughs> 700 points. Can you extend your lead to 900? Your word is plethora. Options are A. Expectation. B. Diversity. C. Plenty. D. Describe. Amina. A, B, C, or D. Yes. Yep. It's a plethora of uh, plants now. No. Yeah. Can you use it in a sentence? Maybe? Yeah, you can, can use it. You um. use it. No, no, look at it. It's a clue. See? See? Yeah. Plenty? Yeah. Plenty? Yeah. Okay, when you say na na, what does it mean in your language? Na na. Is it no no? No no. No no. Yeah. no, no. Yeah. All right, let me tell you. Na na. <laughs> you have something else to tell me? I think I'll go with. Yes. Diversity. Diversity? Let me tell you for free. Diversity is Nana. <laughs> and Nana, Nana, in terms of plenty, is correct. 100 points. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make it 800 points? Your word is stayed. Options are A, judge. B, hypothesis. C, honesty. D, calm. Susan, team answer again. Stay. D. Eh? D for D. calm. Calm. For calm. When you calm your state. Um, yeah. Yeah? A wild guess. A wild guess. Is it yeah yeah or na na? Hmm. I'm I, I don't know. You don't know? What do you think? A. A. Judge. Yeah. Yeah. Judge. Correct answer. C is incorrect. B incorrect. A incorrect. Correct answer is come a hundred points. Roy Natalie. I could feel it. Whoa, nine hundred points. Eight hundred points. What a tight race. Next challenge, spell the word. Okay. <laughs> this is the quiz show. We are on to our next challenge, which is spell the word. The task at hand is pretty easy. We pick out a word from a statement and ask them to spell it correctly. You can still discuss and yes, you can still snatch points. Your first statement to you, our leaders. The purpose of this assignment is to test your cognitive skills. Spell for me, cognitive. I mean, you seem to already have it. Cognitive. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cognitive. Yes. C O G. C O G. N I. N I. T I V E. Hmm. You wanna change anything? Just asking. No. No. Any different spelling for me? No. No. Nada. Same. Nada. <laughs> Nana, okay, that spelling is correct. A hundred points. I'm loving this. Can you make it 900 points? I hope you do. Your word comes from this statement. Jane was the most vulnerable of them. Spell for me, vulnerable. Susan, you seem to have it. Vulnerable. Next time I call you. Yes. V. V. U. U. 
L L N N E E R R A A B B L L E Why do I think he's you think she's correct? Yes, yes. Me too. You are mm -hmm. correct! 100 points! <laughs> Can we make it 1,000? 100? This is your statement. Naturally, there was at first a strong tendency on his part to use only the important words in a sentence. Spell tendency. <clears throat> yes, Hakimi, you seem to have it. Tendency. Let's do it. T E N. Yes. D E. Yes. N. Yes. C Y. Oh my God, was that too simple? I think. Okay. Correct. I like it. One thousand one hundred. Wilson and Susan, can you make it one thousand points? Mary was accustomed to being around sophisticated people. Spell for me sophisticated. Sophisticated. Okay, Wilson, ulishika kalabu ni kama unaandika. Nataka kusema bila kuandika. Unataka kusema bila kuandika? Sawa champion. Twende kazi. S. S. O. O. P. P. H. H. I. I. S. S. T. T. I. T. I. Yes. C. C. A. A. T. T. E. E. D. Correct. I like it. I like it. Fantastic job! One thousand points for the Chichus! Next challenge! Guess the logo! Wow! This is the quiz show! Our next challenge is guess the logo! The task at hand is to make the correct brand identification from the images we shall display. Once again, we can discuss it, yes! We can still snatch points! He! Tight come a hipster. 1,100 <laughs> points. Can you make it 1,200 points? This is your image. Tell me the brand name I'm looking for. Very good. Hakimi, Amina, what's your answer? Time limit. It's almost up. <laughs> Kenya tea packers? Kenya? Ketepa. Ketepa! Yeah, Ketepa. Ketepa, yeah, this is, yeah, Ket Ketepa and the water, the, yeah, makes sense. Wilson? I'll go with KTDA. KTDA, Kenya Tea Development Authority, am I right? Is it Ketepa or KTDA? Let's find out. Can we change? Yes, you can. Oh, no. Please change, it's okay. I'm curious. National Land Commission. No point. Okay, let me give you something you can change. This is your next image, Akimi. Tell me the brand name I'm looking for. Yes, Amina. Do you have it? Yes. Um, Talk to me. SPM. Yes. It is blue and black. Yeah. Wow. So we go with wow. <laughs> How many seconds do I have? Left? Your time is already up. Jeez. I was just whatever. You want. It's a very well guess. SBM Bank. SBM Bank. I like it. I like wild. Okay. Bodo will Wilson. How can I be passing at a place every day eh. and miss it? And miss it. Oh, okay, what am I looking for? C A K. C A K. Yes. Is it C A K or is it S B M Bank? Yes, C A K. <laughs> <laughs> it is officially a tie. One thousand one hundred points apiece. Can you take the lead for the very first time? This is the next email. Tell me what I'm looking for. Yes, Susan. Sorry, Judicial Service Commission. Judicial Service Commission. Sorry, it, yeah. I think so. You think so? Yeah. I mean, what do you think? Same. Same? Is it Judicial Service Commission or is it same? <laughs> Judicial Service Commission is correct. 1,200 points for the first time taking the lead. Can you extend it? This is the next image. I'm curious. 
Wilson! Central Bank of Kenya. Yeah, <laughs> Akimi! Yeah. yeah. It's young? It's Central, Central Bank. Bank of Central Bank of Kenya? Mm. Is it Central Bank of Kenya? Yes. Besha. Yes. Besha! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it <laughs> is! Oh my god! 1,300 points for the Chinchus for the first time taking the lead. Ulisevu na kufara nani? As Tulianza show, ukachagua maintain. The SMS line is triple one, triple four, triple one. Tukivuta pools to Kirudi. Guess the prize. Welcome back to the quiz show where if you know, you know. If you don't, we confirm it. We're having a super race up IV. Next challenge is guess the prize. Ha, the task at hand is to give me the correct price range in Arafuta Bay a supermarket. Leading supermarkets in the capital city of Nairobi and across the nation at 1,300 points. You are leading. Can you extend it? This is the product. Witabix whole grain cereals. 225 grams. 225 grams. Wilson, do you have a price? 225 grams. I think. Yes. What do you mean? Yes. Can you give a range? No. The range is mine. Give me your price. Okay. If it falls within my range, you are correct. Hi, Nipabi. 130. 130. Wilson, if I requested that you change your answer, would you agree? <laughs> Susan, would you change your price? No, I'll stick to this. You'll stick to the same price. I like it. Hakimi? I would say 160. 160? Yeah. Hakim, if I requested you to change that price, would you do it? No. It's not like we know, so <laughs> just 160. 160, okay. I agree, it is not like you know. Because if you knew, you would have known that the price range is anything between 170 to 180 Kenya shillings. <laughs> 10 Kenya shillings, <laughs> and you would have got an answer correct. 169, right? Next product for you. Vim powder lavender fresh, 500 grams. 500 grams. Susan? Vim powder. 120. 120. Would you? No, I know you stick to things. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Amina? Around. Okay. No, it's it can't be that expensive. Yes? Yeah, it can be. Nine, 80, 90. 89, 90. 90. 89, 90? 90. If I requested, but I know you'll say no. <laughs> Would you like to change your answer? No, I'll just go with my dad. You'll go with your dad? 90. Okay. 90? Correct price range is anything between 80 Kenya shillings and 85. Kenya shillings. <laughs> Next time you may want to go with me, but anyway. <laughs> Hakimi, this is your product. Kericho Gold 100 round tea bags, 200 grams. 200 grams. Do you have a price? Yes, Amina. Your time is almost up. A hundred and hundred and eighty-two. A hundred and eighty-two. If I would request, okay. Once again, you don't want to change anything, right? No, just a second. Just a second. Just a second. It's how many grams? Two hundred. Two hundred grams. Okay. Okay. Fine. We'll go by her. You'll go by her. Yeah. Wilson? 150. 150? Wilson, if I would have requested you. Mm -hmm. But I know her answer. It's a no. Your guys are not changing, am I right? Are you changing the price? 
Yeah, let me go with uh, 170. Yeah, you go with 170? Yes. yes. Finally, you've changed something. I like it. <sighs> Correct price is anything between 180 Kenya shillings, 190 Kenya shillings, 100 points to your credit. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. 1,200 points. Can you make it 1,300 a piece? I hope you do. Your uh, your, uh, your product is Royco Mchuzi Mix Beef Sachet, 200 grams. 200 grams. Hakimi, you get it right? It's a tie. Amina? Sixty. Sixty! Hakimi, you do understand that if you get this one correct, it's a tie. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is a wild guess. I've never used this. You've never used this? <laughs> no. Do you want to change the answer? No, I mean, I mean, you don't need to change. I feel like it's supposed to be cheaper. You want to change it? It's your choice? It's fine, just sixty. Okay. It's fine, just 60? Yes. Susan. Go on. 70. 70? Okay. Let me tell you for free. 70 is correct. As much as 60 is also correct. Because that is the price range. This you answer first. 100 points. Wild guest. Wild guest. You have to. You put. You will take us to hospital. I will take you to hospital. You are putting us on edge, man. I will be on edge. My God. All right. One thousand three hundred points. It's officially a tie. Final challenge of this evening. Back to school. This is the quiz show. We are on to our final challenge of this evening, which is back to school. We will test our contestants how much they can remember of what they learned in school. Of course, this is a quick fire trivia. Kila mutu ala pambana na haliake. No discussing, discussions are over. We have four subjects. Kiswahili, compulsory. <laughs> Geography, mathematics, ICT are optional. Since it is a tie and I began here, I will cross over as is my usual practice to begin with the Hakimis. Hakimi, are you ready? Yeah. Hi. Na kutakia kila la heri ndugi yangu na juma makinika swali lako la kwanza ni hili chagua kiumbe ambacho hakina uhusiano na vingine shibli, kimatu, kipusi, ndama Ndama. Ndama! Umenoa! Mtu akikuwa mkuwa sabalheri wa mjibu vipi? You lost me. You lost me! <laughs> <laughs> sabalheri, Sabal. you lost me! Haya! Mtu huyu ametoka sokoni. Sentence hii iko kwenye ngeli gani? Mtu huyu ametoka sokoni. Sentence hii iko kwenye ngeli gani? Lengeli ni kumanisha past tense for present. Mtu ametoka sokoni. Lengeli. Unasama ngeli ya past tense. Ni asahi. Wajani kupati yeki tu kina zaka kusaidia kuweza kutafakari. Nda kupea mfano wangeli, kwa mfano wangeli ya TV. Kwa mwenda wuli za tena. Mtu huyu ametoka sokoni. Sentence hii iko kwenye ngeli gani? Kama ujiu weza sema pita. Pita. Asanti. Kitenzi ni nini? Pas. Ngombe ana tumo gapi? Inne. Umepata? Mapenda yo. Anaejenga kwa mbao, anaitua? Kapentari. Kapentari? Kapentari? Jibu sahihi ni seremala. 
But umejaribu umejaribu sana 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 kitenzi maneno yanayo arifu jambo linalotendeka kwa mfano anapika kisha mtu huyu ametoka sokoni ngeli ni awa awa sabalheri tunajibu alheri kisha kimatu ndio jina ambalo nilikuwa natafuta wale wengine wote ni watoto wa wanyama tofauti tofauti haya ndugu yangu Wilson ukiwa tayari basi swali lako la kwanza ni hili nyumba yetu imeoshwa nyumba yetu imeoshwa sentence hii iko kwenye ngeli gani muda wako yoma ndugu yangu kizi kizi <laughs> nyumba yetu kizi umenoa kinyume cha sentence mvulana aliyekwea mlima alisifiwa na wananchi mvulana aliyekwea mlima alisifiwa na wananchi nipe kinyume kama ujiweza sema pita Okay, uh, rudia tena tafadhali. Mvulana aliyekwea mlima alisifiwa na wananchi. Mvulana asiyekwea mlima hakusifiwa na wananchi. Ah, umenoa. Haya, kisawe ni nini? Neno lenye lenye maana sawa na lingine. Unapata. Kamilisha metali, mchumia juani. Pas. Pas. Haya. Kitabu kipi cha fasihi kina mwigizaji anayeitwa Mtemi Bokono Pita Pita hai wadudu waliovamia Kenya juzi na kuharibu mimea wanaitwaje Zige Umepata Hai Mtemi Bokono kifo kisimani ndicho kitabu <laughs> Kinyume nilikuwa natarajia utaniambia mvulana aliyeshuka mlima alikashifiwa na wananchi kisha nyumba yetu imeoshwa iko katika ngeli ya easy mmepata maswali mawili sahihi alama mbili zaidi mko na alama 1500 mlipata swali moja sahihi mko na alama 1400 This is a tetris final chance to decide who is carrying the day is it the chuchus or is it the hakimis you are now leading you get to choose between geography mathematics ict choose wisely ict ict yes if you insist <laughs> ready when you are susan your time begins now what does pc stand for personal computer Correct. what does ssd stand for Will some time is ticking? Is that a pass? Hey, let me pass. All right. Who invented the telephone? Don't say anything. Is it Graham Bell somebody? Is it Graham Bell somebody? Correct. Alexander Graham Bell. What is the most used video conferencing platform? Will some? Skype. Skype. In. Correct. Which living computer software business created spreadsheet, Excel and PowerPoint? Microsoft. Correct. What does a monitor do? It displays content. Correct. I like it. <laughs> Most used video conferencing platform, Zoom. Oh, Zoom. Zoom, not <laughs> SSD stands for solid state drive. Four questions correct. 400 points 1900 Hakimi Amina all you need to do all you need to do is get all questions correct and you carry the day if you get 5 it is a tie can you do it let's hope let's hope geography mathematics geography geography okay over to you all the best Amina this is your first question what is earth's largest continent Asia Correct What is the driest place on earth found in the southern part of the planet Time is ticking you can say pass Arctic Arctic <laughs> Incorrect What is the flattest continent 
flattest. Australia. Correct, Australia. What is the largest country on the Arabian Peninsula? Oh. Saudi Arabia. Correct. Which African nation has the most pyramids? I mean, which African oh. nation? No, I'm just repeating. Okay, okay, okay. Which African nation has the most pyramids? Time is ticking. Is that a pass? Is that a pass? They come to Egypt, right? It can be Egypt. Is that is that a pass? Um, 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 let me say Sudan. Sudan. Correct. <laughs> what Sudan. North American country has the most natural lakes? Canada. 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 How can you say Canada? You said North American country, yeah? yeah? It, it is Canada. You said Canada. Yeah. <laughs> it's the wrong thing. It's right. Yeah. It's correct. <laughs> Correct! <laughs> Correct! <laughs> Correct! <laughs> Once again, it is officially a tie at 1,900 points! <laughs> ah, I love this show! I love it! Uh, you know, we know more and more questions. We'll share the prize. You know? <laughs> 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 we come together, we are going to do a time breaker! And this is how we're going to do it! <laughs> First person to get the correct answer carries the day. We will do mathematics. <coughs> oh God! Oh ah. my God! Mathematics. <laughs> Finished. Okay. Since it's a tie, once again I cross over to this side. You guys will go first. Ready when you are. All the best. Four hundred and fifty-seven plus nine hundred and eighty-seven. 457 plus 987. Do you have an answer? Or do you say that's a pass? 457 plus 987. 1,444. Correct! Mm. Over to you. If you get it, we continue. You miss it, it's over. A kite has how many angles? A kite. How many angles? Time is ticking. Yeah. Four. Four? Correct! My God! 2,000 points apiece! Can we make it to 2,100? A large box contains 18 small boxes and each small box contains 25 chocolate bars. How many chocolate bars are in the large box? Sorry? A large box contains 18 small boxes and each small box contains 25 chocolate bars how many chocolate bars are in the large box we are ready <laughs> do you have an answer for me yeah 25 chocolates it has 25 chocolates yes in correct okay this is your question i hope you got it right john can eat a quarter of a kilo in one minute how many or rather, how long does it take John to eat one and a half kilos? John can eat a quarter of a kilo in one minute. How long does it take John to eat one and a half kilos? Yes. Six, six minutes. Six minutes. You want to change it? Six quarters. Correct. Yes. My God. They have. Done it! 2,100 points! <laughs> you should have multiplied! <laughs> you were yes, right! <laughs> you should have multiplied! If you had minutes, this, 50. Oh my god! I don't know if anybody guessed it! It will turn out this way! This was one of the most competitive... I salute you guys! Awesome <laughs> job! Chichu. Awesome <laughs> job! Awesome <laughs> job! My winners, please come and join me here! You guys, uh, Amina, you can stand here and give me! fantastic job remember to participate on this show all you have to do is send us an sms to the number triple one triple four triple one father daughter husband and wife sure this show is for you good news when a team wins they give us the closing dance oh what's the closing dance you dance whatever bit you decide. We can probably follow to you. Follow to your you can follow whatever I do. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm Give me the truck. I'm going to get you. Okay, Mimi Nico and I. All right. <laughs> Let me get some beat and see if we can do something. <laughs> and to close this one in style. I don't know what we're going to do. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's start it. Let's start it. Let's start it. All right. Let's start it.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what we are doing. Every Wednesday and Thursday. This is how we do it. What do you want to do?